WHO and two weather, Kamaka Pili. Partly cloudy skies today, both low-level clouds and some high-level clouds that gave us a beautiful sunset last night and a beautiful sunrise, and that could give another one this evening if it's not too cloudy. But as we take a picture, uh, or take a look over Honolulu now, clouds are starting to roll in. We can expect an increase of shower activity tonight through tomorrow morning. And even for tomorrow, by the time we get through tomorrow afternoon, we're going to see drier conditions. But this could be a moderate threat for tomorrow morning because we have this band of moisture that's starting to sweep east towards west, and that's going to bring a round of wet weather for east uh, portion of the state right now, actually, that will be moving and bringing some rounds of wet weather for the western portion through the overnight hours till tomorrow morning, all being blown in with these breezy trade winds. And fortunately, the past couple of days was lighter winds, more variable, but that's part, uh, starting to be more uh, direct from the easterly direction. It's actually going to be taking us out of the weekend into the new weekend, strong enough where we still have a small craft advisory for the eastern portion of the state. And in terms of our oceans, we're having a little small bump for the eastern facing shores due to those increased uh, wind speeds, three to five footers for the east, flat to two up north, one to three for the west, two to four footers down on the south. Now, in terms of shower activity, Activity. We have this one band of moisture that's starting to make its way, especially for eastern Hawaii Island and Maui. We're going to start to see that increase. Of course, Kailua Kona dealing with its wet season now. We're all continually, continuously seeing some showers for there, especially the afternoon hours. But as we progress tonight through tomorrow, that band's going to be making its way towards Oahu, for Ko uh, towards Kauai. So we can start off tomorrow morning on a wet note. But as we get through tomorrow afternoon, drier conditions until we get through around Tuesday, uh, Monday, in through Tuesday, yet another band of moisture is going to be bringing showers likely for windward sides that's going to be to start off the week and we actually maybe from that point through the rest of the week have more of a wetter trade wind pattern than normal we do have an upper level disturbance that is a weak side of a uh, uh, in its strength but strong enough where it could be increasing some of those showers and as we take a peek through the week and into the new week you can see especially the morning hours especially Monday morning we have that likely shower chance and then it sw switches more towards Tuesday night Wednesday night Thursday night but we are still seeing an increased chance throughout this upcoming week. Again, a wetter than normal trade wind pattern is expected. Taking a peek through tomorrow, in terms of those trade winds, up to 38 mile per hour gusts on Hawaii Island, and that tapers down as we get towards the west end of the state. 91 is what's going to be feeling like both here on Oahu and Maui, but it's nothing like what, the, again, the, the western coast of the continent is dealing with a third round of a heat wave. Last night or yesterday on Friday, coming from Death Valley in Nevada, 130 degrees. That's only four degrees less than what is the highest temperature ever recorded. So bringing it back home tonight, again, shower activity is going to be taking us through the evening hours, through tomorrow. Mostly cloudy skies is expected to start off the week, and again, a wet note to start the week off, taking us with decreasing chance of showers, but we do have that chance, especially the morning and evening hours for the greatest chances of showers. Nonetheless, the trade winds will help us keep us cool. Sam, give it back to you.